we shall now learn link filtering and projection filtering is taking certain records from a complete table using the where clause and projection is taking certain columns out of those records so you have a big table having 10 records 10 columns and it has a number of records then filtering is taking certain records and projection is from these records instead of taking all the nine columns you take only first three or whichever columns you want to bring out this can be done with link easily so the trick is to use the WHERE clause like this specify a lambda for the condition and then do the projection select certain columns out of that so let us see how it is done so consider this screen here we have written only some part of the code we created that string builder inside the get data function and this is the query that we are writing ls that is the list the data source dot where this is the type of collection and this is the condition where amount exceeds 500 so this will do filtering this is called filtering and then putting a dot select C order data is the collection type because where is going to return you a C order data and what is the end result end result is a dynamic object created with X goes to new x dot invoice to x dot amount so out of the entire columns of C order data we are picking only invoice to and amount and this the end the end result will be a collection of dynamic objects this is an anonymous class new so objects of anonymous class will be returned as dynamic then here we are displaying the results where n in q sb dot append name is 0 means n dot invoice 2 so here this is the alias and similarly this is the alias and hr will be there after each record is displayed if I had written a is equal to x dot invoice 2 and b is equal to x dot amount then a and b would have been the aliases and I would have written a comma b here and this is the result that we can view name is equal to k1 amount is equal to 789 name is equal to k2 amount is equal to this so this is the output that we can see so the only tricky part is this select which I can repeat here select is operating on the collection type of C order data because where is returning C order data objects all the columns are coming in where dynamic it is the type of the result set that we are getting the result set will be a collection of anonymous objects having two properties invoice to and amount these anonymous objects will be manipulated through dynamic dynamic type is will be the type of these anonymous objects since the type is dynamic 
we can use invoice to and amount as properties on n because n is now dynamic for each dynamic n in q q is returning a collection of dynamics for each dynamic n in q since n is dynamic we can use invoice to and amount without causing compiler error this compiles and the end result is this one